Hello guys, this is Matt here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the extension for Adobe After Effects called Body Moving. Um, what this does is it allows you to create animations, uh, simple animations of shape layers into CSS code. So this example here is one I did before and as you can see it's looping and when I scale the browser this will be uh, responsive, so it uh, gives you basically optimized animations for the web, uh, so they're always super crisp, better than what GIF quality can do for you. Um, a lot of people have sort of been struggling with installing the extension and getting it to work, so I'm going to basically run through how to render out the code from After Effects and get it to work in the uh, on the internet, basically. So I'm going to just jump in quickly to After Effects. Um, when you go to Window Extensions, this is where you'll find uh, Body Moving when we install it. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's just. So basically, all you're doing is typing in Body Moving, and it's moving without the G, and then AE into After Effects, and you'll find this link here. So this is the installer that you need to get body moving to work. So let's just click on this and download as a zip. And then if you scroll down here, this link here takes you to the Adobe add-on store. I guess that's what it's called. And you want to click this little button here which says install. And then when you go to view my add-ons, this is the page that will show you all the extensions you've added to all your programs. So I think this one's for Photoshop. Um, anyways, if we go back to After Effects, we need to quit this. Let's just quit the browser. Um, and then if you wait a little while, because it needs to sync with the um, Creative Cloud. So we'll reopen After Effects now quickly. And now if I go to window, we should have body moving. There we go. So I'm going to quickly open up the hubbub file. So what I want to render is this animation here. It's all shape layers. And it's basically a simple animation, which then loops back on itself. So if we go to extension, body moving, what this window gives us here now is all of our compositions uh, in a list, so you need to find the one you want to render. For me, it's this one here. And before we can render, we need to specify where we're rendering it to. So if we go to desktop, I'm just going to make a new folder called Hubbub and then save it there. And then we need to hit render. And then once that's done, we can hit return. And if we go to our new folder, we'll say that we've got this new data.json file and basically what this is is all the information from After Effects of the path all the paths and all the information and trim paths and anything you've put on it converted into a sort of text file so now we need to get the player as well so if you click this player button uh, this seems to be a compressed for f uh, version of the player um, I'm assuming there's something else you need to do to get that to work, so avoid the gzipped one and click get player. Put it in the same folder as where you just saved the data file and click save. So what this will do now is give you, this is basically all the JS to make the, um, to run this data file. And lastly we need to get, oh, sorry, downloads. We need to get the index file. So when you down uncompress this zip, uncompress sorry, the zip in this player folder, there's a index.html. So if you just copy that and paste it in here. So that's all you need to get the the animation working on the web. So we can hide After Effects. Minimize this. So you're going to need to open MAMP, which is basically something you can install into your computer and it will give you a local service so you can test out PHP or any type of web code without putting it online to the web. So you need to start your servers 
by clicking this button, which actually I'll just show you how to do that. So I've just turned mine off. So if I start it now, it should open up the internet. Okay, mine didn't because I think I already had it open. So then you're basically going to look want to search for localhost 888, which will give you a list of all your files here. When you install it, I think it makes this folder for you as well. So I'm going to just delete this one because this is the example one I got working. And then I'm going to paste the new folder that we just made in here. So what this will do is let you play these on the web. So if I click refresh now and click this hubbub file, this will load the index.html. But it doesn't work at the minute because there's a little bit of editing to the code we need to do before we can get the animation to play. So we're going to just drag the index file into Dreamweaver. And we need to do some edits to the code. Um, we'll start here. We don't actually need these because these are starred out. And what we're going to do is change the height and width to 100%. This is to show that it plays responsive. Obviously, you can choose the specify the sizes you need. I'm not going to go too deep into it because that's teaching code essentially. So yeah, when we set that to 100%, that'll be fully responsive and the full size of a window. Uh, what we're going to do now is we don't actually need all this code. This is basically all contained within this file. So what we need to do is delete all of this and we just need to actually call the one JS file so I've copied the code that you need here but if I quickly press command Z basically this code is the same as these so it's just a source file for the script but all of this all these scripts are contained within the body moving file which we installed earlier so we can just put this new bit of code in and delete all the rest. So now that we've done that, there's one final thing to do. We need to call our data file, which is the information from all the paths that we rendered from After Effects. And I think this is the main thing that gets everyone confused when trying to get this online, is this little thing, this, um, path is where it's calling your data file and at the minute it's, it's, it it comes as if it's contained within a folder called exports and render whereas we've only got data file so basically all we need to do is delete all the junk before it and just tell it to call data file now when we hit save if we click refresh now we've got our animation working and if you move the browser you'll see it's responsive Oh, sorry, yeah, there's another part to it as well. We have this bit of script called loop. When that's set to false, it means it'll play the animation once. If you set it to true, this will make it loop forever. So now if we hit refresh, it will fold away into a loop and then begin again. So now we can start to customize it a little bit more. We could change the background color from this grey colour to black or a darker grey. So now if we hit refresh, we've now got it on a different background colour. Um, I believe you don't need this colour. This one doesn't actually change. You can set that one to none I think. Yeah, because it's the colour of the actual animation will be coming from your After Effects file. So mine's obviously on white. So if I was to change the colour here, for example, if I select everything, change the colour to red. I need to do it in this logo loop file as well. Actually, I'm not going to bother with that, but. As you can see, these, these bits are red, 
I'd need to change quite a lot of layers to get it red. But if we were to now quickly go to extensions, body moving, and re render this file, just get to the desktop. So now we've got this new file. If I was to paste this, in here and replace the old one you obviously see the red bars that we added in so if I made it all red it would do it so yeah that's how you get it working you actually don't need this code either I don't think um, someone who's really good at coding might say that you do but as far as I'm aware if I click save this will still play so basically that's how you get it all to work this is quite a cleaner version there's obviously a lot more you need to do to get it to work on web for your website and to obviously style it to certain sizes and stuff but um, that's pretty much it I can quickly show you on my website I've kind of used it here for this little logo logo animation before entering my site so it's quite a nice way of putting animations on the web and making them super crisp um, that's all for today. I will upload this file and uh, example animation for you to take a look at so you can look through the code and understand how it all works. Um, so look in the video description for the download folder. Um, thanks for watching folks. If you've liked what you've seen, subscribe, do all that, share it with your friends. Uh, cheers.